Hello everyone and peace of Christ to all of you. Please invite your friends and if you are a Muslim, invite your four wives and your 60 kids. Before we start, we have a gentleman, his name is Fadi, and he said he wanted to call me, but he can call me only in Skype. And this is my offer to Mr. Fadi. If you are a man, I will open a Skype for you, just for you. Do you dare to call me, Fadi? I will be waiting for the answer and let us see you are a man if you are a man or you are just a girl trying to you know a little girl six years old in the age of Aisha now uh, before we talk about the topic which is about Mecca uh, Mr. Fadi he said something very important he is trying to answer regarding his God saying the Sun sit in a murky water we showed him a hadith where his prophet says that the sun sit in the murky water. Mr. Fadi said this hadith is fabrication. Uh, but the hadith is sahih, which means in Arabic, sahih means you know, like correct. However, he went for 15 minutes and he was searching with all the power he have, trying to save the honor of his God who is getting busted every day here so after searching for long he come and he posed for us in Arabic and actually I made a snapshot of his uh, statement in Arabic let me see if I can have it for you in the screen and he said <clears throat> I will show it to you I like it when a Muslim he tried to prove and to defend because the more he do it, the more they lose. He says, The correct is the description of the sun that it does uh, sit under the throne, not to sit in a, a hot water. Now, you just admitted that the sun sat under the throne. I mean, how donkey. <laughs> is that an answer being given to you by a donkey or by a human you just admitted that the when the sun set the sun is going from point a to point b it goes under the throne of allah so either way you got your prophet busted however just to show you that you're ignorant the same as the rest of you who claim to know to have knowledge about your cult when you say that the sun set under the throne of allah that is exactly what the hadith is saying because the throne of allah is in the top of the water so where the sun set under the throne of Allah what is under the throne of Allah is the hot water let us prove it to you <laughs> unbelievable <laughs> so look what your prophet said and as you see this is a sahih hadith you idiot you say to me it's a lie he said that the sun set in a murky water muddy hot water then he says in different hadith the following that the throne of Allah is above the water so the Sun sit under the throne of Allah in the muddy water as you see so again you are helping us to prove that your prophet is a false prophet so even when you defend and you try your best you get your prophet busted not only that the, the, the Quran itself make it clear that the one is talking about the Sun sitting in murky water is supposed to Allah not the guy who the story is about him all the hadith as you see and those are sahih says that the throne of Allah is above the water and you confirm to us that the sun sit under the throne of Allah which is above the water which means it's sun the sun sit in the water how silly how silly to be a Muhammad how silly to claim to be a prophet now if we go to the Quran we see I'm changing the topic a little bit just to refute this 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 kid who is maybe 50 years old enter when he reached the sitting of the Sun who is talking Allah you see it's not the guy saying enter I reached the sitting of the Sun Allah saying let me tell you about him they are asking you about Zulqarnayn say I will rehearse to you something of his history who is saying that Allah and then 
We established for him a power in the earth. So Allah, he claimed that Alexander the Great, who is a bisexual, he is a messenger of him. And he followed away. And then until, okay, he keep going, keep going for many years, until when he reached the sitting of the sun. Change the translation if you don't like this one. No problem, we change it for you. He found, he reached the sitting place of the sun. Do you see it? This is the accurate one. Until he reached the sitting place of the sun. Who is talking? Allah. It's not the guy is talking. So when Allah, he said, he reached the sitting place of the sun, that is appeared to him? That's stupid. The sun appeared to us every day. It's sitting somewhere. Here he is quoting something about date and time. This is why he says, until. And the trip of this man took him many years. It's not like a one-day journey. He is going picnic. He built cities, he built Alexandria, he occupied a, a huge part of the world. So here he's saying, then he followed away. Until, he kept going, he kept going, until, until when? Until he reached the sitting place of the sun. Where is the sitting place of the sun? Who is talking? Allah. So it's very foolish of you to say, it doesn't say that. Everybody is laughing at the stupidity. And he found it. He found it. It's not the guy saying, I found it. He says, and he found it. Who is talking? Allah. He did not say it appeared to him. When you say he found it, it means he got a finding. And finding is about a fact. And your prophet confirmed that. And not only that, he found near it people. And then Allah, he said to him, Ozul Qurnayn, either you punish them, or you let treat them with kindness, which is very silly. I mean, what, what do you mean? Either you punish them or treat them with kindness. Which one of them? <laughs> and then Zulqarnayn, he changed the, changed the direction. Because now he reached the end of the world where the sun set. So he moved and he changed direction. And the Quran keep going that Allah is talking. And he said, here, you will see, let us go down a few verses or more. You will see the following. It says, and then he followed another way. So now he changed the opposite direction until until what again the same stupid story until he came to the rising place of the sun who is talking Allah do you see the word he when you say he found it's mean it's not me I'm talking it is Allah Allah is talking about what happened to this guy so stop trying to defend the stupidity of the Quran until until is about time and date and the location until he arrived to where he came to the rising place of the sun rising place of the sun where is that the first one you said to us oh it appeared to him that the sun set in murky water okay where is this rising place of the sun <laughs> and then he found it again he found it okay found it what founding rising on people who has who, whom Allah provide no shelter for them suppose this is Africa <laughs> and then the story get, get him more funny he found there those people and they asked him to build a dam between them and a the nation it's called Gog and Magog and those Gog and Magog, they are not a human. They have a big ear to the point he can sleep inside the right ear. And each one of them he have is so good in sex to the point before he die, he will have 1,000 1, babies. And until now, supposedly, there's a dam built by Alexander the Great between us and between the people of Gog and Magog. And... One day, one of the signs of the judgment day, according to Muhammad, that the people of Gog and Magog, they will open a hole in that dam and they will be able to come to us. The reason we don't see them because he, they are jailed behind the dam. <laughs> I'm truly, truly convinced that Muhammad is a prophet. I mean, come on. I hope Fadi is there. And Fadi, if you want to call me in Skype, let me know. I will open it just for you. You are a potato and you will never dare to call me. Now, we go back to our topic, which is not about this, but he asked for it, and I gave it to him. The Muslims have articles to prove to us, brother, that the golden ratio in Islam, the miracle of Mecca, 
and the article saying do you know that Mecca is located in a golden ratio according to the golden ratio and I say like wow man this is amazing this is so beautiful Abdul do you see the scale you are using the scale you are using if you move this scale a little bit then the golden ratio will change to different city it's the bent what you decide like you are the one who is putting uh, deciding I want to uh, make it a study between here and there and then I will make Mecca the golden ratio but let me a better prove that Mecca is a miracle better than the golden ratio are you ready brothers and sisters are you ready let us ask Zachar Naik if he is ready Dr. Zachar Naik are you ready to show them that Mecca is a miracle but the center. did the person in name of the Christian prince and he already tried to prove it out to be false and this is extremely impossible because Mecca itself in a very perfect location and I'll prove it to you uh, Dr. Zakir Naik uh, you spit too much and in case you do not know Mecca is exist in the lowest location or the Kaaba in the lowest location of Mecca which is will cause a flooding absolutely true and this is one of the miracles of Allah because if Mecca is not exist in that location and the Kaaba is not exist in the lowest point of Mecca then the water of the sewage will not come to the Kaaba uh, uh, Zakir are you saying that the sewage which is flooded on the Kaaba every year is a proof that the Kaaba chosen to be in the perfect location by Allah absolutely because sewage is the mercy of Allah and the sewage of Mecca is not like the sewage in New York. It's very clean and full of Sambu and Mosque because Saudi people are very rich and they spend a lot of money on soap. So it's very clean. Uh, uh, Zakir Naik, sewage is a sewage. It doesn't matter how clean it is. And the Saudi, they pee and piss like us, don't they? Absolutely. But I will explain to you. Because we Muslims, our piss is not like your piss. What's out of here? Isn't it clear that the Kaaba cannot be the house of God? I mean, what kind of God he chose the worst location for the Kaaba? And as you see, people are swimming in the sewage. Allah, he chose the location of the Kaaba, brother. And the Kaaba is flooded by the sewage. Why Allah, he did not make a better study and choose a better location? at least Allah he can raise up the ground you don't need to change it just uh, say Allah Allah say make it as hell and it's going to go up the holy ground so what kind of God he chose Mecca to be in the worst location and the Kaaba specifically to the point it's a flooded by the sewage every year so when the Muslims speak about Mecca to be in the perfect location look at the flood in Mecca every year look at this and remember Mecca is a desert place it is a desert place so if this is in the desert and Allah could not choose a location in the desert I mean where is going to change choose location <laughs> if he chose a location like this in the desert and the location was horrible so where the location will be good I mean how easy it's a desert and desert didn't have too much water Even though it's a desert, still Allah could not choose a good location for his Kaaba. Why? Brother? Brother, what's happening, brother? Hey, brother? I'm very disappointed, brother. Allah, he chose the wrong location for the Kaaba, brother? So, if we go back... And see all those are flooding and by the way there is there is a there is a lake uh, close to Mecca it's called the lake the make or the lake of misk but it's not misk it is it is, it is poo poo <laughs> and, and two years ago <laughs> the lake of misk was a flooded and most of the misk which means poo poo went to the to the Kaaba <laughs> It's a he all because you don't have sewage in Mecca. There is no sewage. 
All the sewage goes to this lake. They call it the Lake of Musk, which means misk, which means good smell. But it's for fun, sarcastic, you know, it's not real. So here we see a very easy proof. You do not need to be genius. If this is the Kaaba, according to Muslims, chosen to be as a location by Allah. Allah, he sent the black stone and Allah, he told the angels where to build it. And the Muslims are very confused. Who is the one who first one who built the Kaaba? You see articles saying Abraham is the one who built the Kaaba. You see articles saying that it was Adam who built the Kaaba. You see articles saying or reference saying that the angels of Allah built the Kaaba. It doesn't matter who built the Kaaba. All the articles agree that it was Allah who pointed the location of the Kaaba. And as you see, this location is horrible. You know, imagine you hire a very, uh, 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 like, a professional company of engineering, and you say to them, choose for me a perfect location for my house. I'm God. I am not anyone. I am God. Choose the perfect location for my house. And then what they do? They choose for you a location where your house will be flooded by, by the sewage. Let us see if we can find you more pictures. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, those pictures and those like since we start having camera, you know, before we don't know what's happening there. Look at this. What is this? What is that? Brother, what's happening here, brother? Do you see how dirty the water? So this is a location chosen by Allah to be the location to build his house. Now, Fadi, are you going to call me in Skype or no? I will open Skype only for you as an exception. I take calls only in Tal Talk, but just because you are a special case. Hmm? Are you there? You know what? I will open the Skype for anyone want to call me, including this guy, Ultimate Fort. What's his name? Ultimate Fort? Okay, Ultimate Fort. You can call me too. Hold on. Any Muslim, he have the courage to answer. You are welcome. Just an exception today. <coughs> it's good to do charity from time to time. Let us open Skype. All right. Who is the Muslim would like to call me? I am in Skype already. Anyone? Who is the Muslim would like to call me? Mayday, Mayday. Who is the brave Muslim would like to call me? Where are they? Hello? Okay, forget about them. They are scared. I understand. So, how we explain the secret of Allah choosing the wrong location for the Kaaba? Yeah, he's a coward. He will not call. Because if you want to call, who is holding him? My Skype is open. He did not even text me. He's a potato. 
No, no, I'm not going to use Skype. I'm just using it as an exception because they are just making excuse. I don't want to use Skype. It's just to, just to get them busted. You know, like, look like that. They say, okay, we can only use Skype. Okay, I'm in Skype now. Who's next? So who is the Muslim who want to explain to us why Allah, he chose the wrong location? I mean, why it's very hard. There is many hills, many mountains around the Kaaba, and they can be a perfect place to put the Kaaba there. They will never be flooded. Hey, Fadi, I answered you. Are you stupid or what? I told you that you said, you just said, you just approved to us that the sun set under the throne of Allah. You just approved your prophet to be a false prophet. Because by saying that the sun set under the throne of Allah, you just admitted that Islam teach <laughs> that the sun move every day and sit under the throne of Allah. <laughs> I like Muslims. I mean, they are the most funny. Look at this. He, he supposedly now he is defending. We, we got you busted already. The sun sit under the throne of Allah. So you agreed. Supposedly you are a smart Muslim who took a lot of hashish and you come with this answer saying that the sun set under the throne of Allah. So according to you Muslims, the sun set. Which is stupid. The sun never set. The sunset is not a movement. It's something appeared to us. You just said that the sun set under the throne of Allah. And this is totally in total agreement with what your prophet said because your prophet said that the, the throne of Allah is above the water so yes the sun set and the thro throne of Allah above the water this is because you are ignorant and you are repeating yourself without even knowing what you are talking about isn't it your prophet who said that the throne of Allah is above the water you idiot so now you confirm two things to us by saying that statement in Arabic that the sun set and the throne of Allah which is in the water because the throne of Allah is above the water. Oh, no screen? Oh, hold on. Do you see it? You just agreed. The throne of Allah is over the water. <laughs> and this is Sahih. This is Sahih Hadith. <laughs> you know, it's not easy to be a Muslim, to be honest with you. It's horrible. I mean, you are a Muslim and you are trying to defend with all your energy such a stupid cult. And then you defend and then you come with a statement saying, it's not correct to say the throne, the sun set uh, uh, in the water. The correct to say the sun set under the throne. You idiot. You just admitted that the sun set. You idiot. You just admitted that the sun is not appearing to be setting. It is setting under the throne of Allah. This is what happened when you Muslims, you search in Google and you copy an answer from a Muslim cleric who they are a bunch of idiots, professional idiots. I feel sorry for Allah because he could not find one smart Abdul to defend him. And this is additional proof that Allah is a false God. Because if Allah is God, why he cannot find a smart Muslim, he can give us a smart answer. Hmm? Who's next? Anyone? Nobody. So, okay, that we open a sky for them and they will not contact us. What we can do. All right. What we can do. Let me exit from Skype then. So as you see, Islam is a very silly cult. 
anything, anything the Muslim they claim to be a miracle or to claim to be something special, it is the same thing will prove to us that Islam is a stupid cult. Like, okay, I will have a challenge for we 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 answer the about the Kaaba. Who is a Muslim when I give me something proven to me Islam to be from God? Something, anything. Forget about all the things we got Muhammad busted with. Who wanna give me something? He claim that it's amazing. Anyone? Oh, I forgot. <clears throat> uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Fadi, he said that when the Quran says that the sperm coming from the backbone, he is saying that uh, the sperm, 5% uh, of it is a, a semen and the rest is a liquid coming from the backbone. <laughs> <laughs> My Abdul, your Quran says that the sperm coming from the backbone, and that is a water. Read with me. You're a prophet, he never heard of something called testicles. And not only that, I wish the story stopped there. The Quran claimed that women they have sperm and their sperm is coming from the location of the necklace in their ribs. Do you see it, Abdul? Now I know you will not like what I am showing you and you will say you have a wrong understanding. Let us go and see the scholars of Islam what they will say. Shall we? Let us open the book of Ibn Kathir. The book of Ibn Kathir will get you busted, the brother. We go to Ibn Kathir. Here we go. Unless you want to say to me, Ibn Kathir, he don't speak good Arabic, and you know more than him, right? By the way, Ibn Kathir is a big fat liar. He try always. The book of Ibn Kathir is not meant to 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 explain Islam as it's meant to defend Islam. So he's like you in your age now, trying to defend Islam, but yet he got Islam busted. So I'm very thankful for Ibn Kathir help. Let us read what Ibn Kathir says about the chapter 86 verse number 6 and 7. Look with me on the screen and try not to laugh. It's a comedy. A tragic comedy. Allah says, look, look what the human is made from. Look. Okay, we look. It says, he created it from water gushing forth. It's a water which is gushing forth. The water gushing forth is coming from the backbone, Abdul. Nice to meet you. Meaning a sexual fluid that comes out of breast for, uh, forth from the man and the women. Thus, the child is a proceeded from both of them. So, according to Muhammad, the baby is made from a sexual fluid from the man and the women. And that's not true. Because sexual fluid is the, of the women have nothing to do with the baby being made. It's the egg. What sexual fluid? By the permission of Allah. And then he says, proceeding from between the backbone and the ribs. Meaning the backbone of the man and the ribs of the women. So you're a prophet and your religion teach that women, she have a sexual fluid. Coming from the tribe, a tribe, not not the ribs. The translation is not accurate. The the tribe is the location of the necklace. Let me let me use my art. You know, I'm very good in art. I cannot resist the temptation of drawing. I don't know why. I think I was like I I, I know. I have a I have a gift of drawing. So this is a this is a female uh, girl, huh? Look how beautiful she is. Unbelievable. And this is her ears. What kind of ears those ears look like? Elephant. Anyway, they are ears. Just imagine. And here, they, she have a neck. Look at this beautiful neck. How beautiful it is. And now she have her shoulders. Well, all women have shoulders, don't they? All right. Here we go. We are getting closer. And now here, there is the ribs. If you put in that location here, let me let me put an arrow. Okay, in this location where if you touch your finger, you feel something there like a hole between the the ribs. That is the taraib. So Muhammad he claimed 
that the man have a sperm coming from the backbone of the man which is the last bone touching his ass and from the taraib of the woman which is the location of the necklace how this can be God who is the madman who want to believe in such such a stupid cult anyone hello and the funny uh, fadi he said when you read the Quran you feel the word of God, Allah my brother what do you feel about the word of Allah you feel the sperm of Allah look the sperm coming from my backbone I feel it right now and if you are a female you feel the the, feeling the sperm coming from the collar bone of your of your neck Uh, because so he was my student by the way but I am very humble I don't like to say you know uh, and by the way Shakespeare he's an Arab yeah his real name is Sheikh Isber this is what Al-Qazafi said you see we are Arab we are very talented people not like you <laughs> I, mean, I feel sorry for you I mean what do you have what do you have you don't have Kaaba you don't have anything unbelievable so any Muslim want to say something I mean find me one thing in this cult is not stupid Huh? Who is a Muslim? You know, you made tons of thousands of videos about miracle in the Quran, and we die laughing watching them. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, guys. Oh my God! Oh my God! Uh, Fadi, don't say, don't say, oh my God! Say, oh my Allah! Let me show you what Fadi he said. I, I mean, this guy. I'm, I'm not sure if he's paid by the. I think he's a. He, he's paid by the Jews. To expose Islam. <laughs> Just wait, the Muslims, they were accusing that he is paid by the Jews. Oh my God, sexual fluid is not a sperm. It is a semen. The most comes from the seminal vesicle that is located between the backbone. <laughs> <laughs> it's coming from the back between the backbone and the ribs <laughs> uh, be honest can you find a better comedy show than this you will never find such a thing he fatty listen you're a prophet always you get you busted even you try to defend him but look what you said read with me Abdul I mean <laughs> You're a prophet, my, my friend. He talk a lot. And the more he talk, the more he do poo poo. Look at this, what your prophet he said. You said that the sexual fluid, it's coming from between, brother, the backbone and the ribs. Look what your prophet saying. The messenger of Allah said, the man water is thick and white and the women water is a thin and yellow. Which one of them comes first? The child will resemble the parents. So Abdul, According to your prophet, the women she have a sperm, and the one comes first, the baby will resemble the parents. So you say to me, Oh my god, oh my Allah, the sexual fluid. Here we go. This is the sexual fluid described by your prophet. The man's sexual fluid is white, and I think you know what is that, right? And the women's sexual fluid. Is a thin and yellow that because Muhammad he, he made all the women he slept with infected because why women they have a yellow uh, a liquid in their vagina you see I, I was saying this for many many years but then somebody told me that women they don't have that uh, yellow unless they have infection any Abdul One two one two. Are you a Muslim, my friend? Are you saying to me, Ahmaq Ahmaq, idhab wa ta'allamaghlugha al-Arabiya? Go and ta go and learn the Arabic. A Muslim saying to me, go and learn the Arabic. Yeah, I am an Arab. Here we go. Call me. Let us see how good you are in Arabic. Huh? asfar. Okay, guys, look at this. This is this is additional Muslim. I don't know if this is the same guy or different guy. Maybe it's the same guy. He changed his name. Hold on, hold on. 
just to show you how they helped me to expose Muhammad. He said, stupid, the color of the water which is carrying the egg is yellow. Abdul, do the egg come in the vagina of the women? You're a prophet talking about coming first. The water which she see in her vagina. Let me get you busted. <coughs> so now you admitted that if this is about the yellow water, that yellow water should be inside the women, not something going outside in her vagina. Look and read with me, you idiot. Thank you for helping me for exposing your prophet. This is Sahih At-Turmudi, Sahih Ibn Majah. We can show it to you too from Al-Bukhari. You see, it is Sahih. It says, Um Salim ask Allah Messenger, because Allah Messenger, he have a clinic specialty for sex. Uh, he, he said, uh, oh, uh, I want to ask Allah Messenger about women who sees uh, her dream, something like which a man see. <laughs> This Muslim decent woman, she saw herself having sex with 10 men and now she have orgasm. And she is coming to the Prophet to question, shall I wash my vagina? Look at the Prophet answer, holy answer. The Messenger of Allah said, if she sees that, has discharge, then let her perform a bath. Umm Salama, the wife of the Prophet, she said, oh Allah Messenger, does really that happen? The messenger of a uh, 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 wife, she never have orgasm. <laughs> to the point she is really surprised. He said, yes, yes, yes. He said, yes. The water of the man is thick and white and the water of the women is thin and yellow. And which one of them comes first? The baby resemble. So you told me that the white, the, the yellow water is the one who carry the egg. You idiot, you believe the egg go out in the vagina? Who is the Abdul? Abdul? You're a prophet talking about a water or women she see. Guys, does it say see? See? Huh? A woman she have it. And then if she sees that has discharge, it is something she see. Something external, not internal. Hello? Where is the guy? What happened? Hello? Did your chair sweat? Uh, brother, I want you to stand up and see if there is any yellow water under your seat. You told us the yellow water, brother, that is the one who carried the egg. That means according to your prophet, the egg of the woman come out of her vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable! I'm so. I want. I want to say shahada. This is very good. This is very good. I cannot be true. Unbelievable! Very, very beautiful. Very beautiful. Hmm. Who is next? Hmm. Try, try. I mean, do your best. Try. Who want to refute me? I'm very easy to refute. I mean, Christian Prince, he know nothing. He don't know how to learn Arabic. He don't speak Arabic. I, I, don't, I don't know what is my language. My Arabic is bad. My English is bad. Even my Urdu is bad. Look, listen to me. Brother Sitter, when the Prophet said that the women have a yellow water, and it is proven to be correctly, as an example, ask your woman to give you some pith. She will pith a yellow water. See, I told you. Uh huh. And whoever of them comes first, <laughs> and look at the science, whoever of them comes first, the baby will resemble the parents. If I get married, I will never come first. I don't want my son to look like me. That's, that's bad. That's disgusting. My wife will shoot me. So whoever comes first, the baby will resemble the parents. That is science, brother. That's discovery. Hello? And you are telling me that the prophet is not a true prophet? Come on, let us be realistic. There is no question that the prophet is a real prophet. I don't want to make the video longer. I want you guys to download it, share it with your friends. It's for free. Have fun with it. And don't forget to practice the golden method which the prophet he just taught us. If you are a good-looking guy, 
please have orgasm first because maybe your wife she is not good looking so your kid will look like you brother but if you are not good in looking guy like me never brother never have orgasm first because the one who have orgasm first is the one who will adopt the look and the gender brother amazing genius it's a clear proof that the prophet is a prophet hear the word of a wise man who been inspired by Allah and everything he said is it true and proven by science actually there is a scientist his name yeah he's from Japan by the, by the way all scientists who speak about Muhammad in the Muslims article either they are from Japan or from Canada there's a Japanese a, a, a professor his name is Yama I do lie Suzuki Yama he said this is true the one who comes first he will uh, this, uh, the control the, the gender and the look mm. yeah man. hello all right guys if you like to learn more about the cult of islam and the false science of islam you can get my books from amazon especially quran and science in depth my books are translated to many languages in spanish in uh, uh in dutch german swedish uh like uh, where is the where is the spanish book yeah this is the spanish book spanish book uh german uh french le secret du prophet arab and this is quran and science in depth for some reason people don't uh, like uh, i mean most of people they will read the deception of allah when the fact this is the biggest treasure of information quran and science in depth because the deception of allah supposedly it was an introduction for this this one this one have a lot of reference you will not believe it but still people they prefer to read the deception of Allah more I don't know what that I know I like the, the ratio between them of uh, of people who read is is a big I'm not sure why you know but uh, Quran and science and depth is a is a very very good book to have because it's a treasure it's a box it's a library of reference so feel free to read my books educate yourself and um, if you like to read more about uh, what Muhammad teach about sex we have a special book it's called six and Allah it's two volume so feel free to read educate yourself and those who speak Spanish please don't forget to post the link of the Spanish book in a Spanish pages like in Facebook etc because this is a new translation and most of people do not know about it with this I want to say thank you guys for being here may the Lord bless you and I hope the Muslims they will see the truth and the truth will set them free we are not against the Muslims we are against the cult of Islam for this cult is dangerous it is bad and it's false and we have a duty to stand and to say the truth and the truth will set you free that is the wisdom of my Lord the Messiah who there is no name better than his name down in earth or above in the sky thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord and Islam is false see you soon again bye-bye